defending the president. Here's MSNBC analyst and former Democrat Senator Claire McCaskill. Well, they're going to keep doing what they've been doing. Um, they are going to try to indict a father for loving his son who has been addicted to drugs and or alcohol and without evidence of the father doing anything other than loving that son. And that, I think, doesn't fly with most of the American people. Completely missing the point. Joe Conscious, a Fox News contributor and columnist for The Messenger. He joins us now. Joe, not the first time, won't be the last. The yeah. media has commented on the president's relationship with his son, specifically with regard to the addiction issues. The New York Times says the real lesson from the Hunter Biden saga is that, quote, the president does offer the country a fine model of the love and support that people with addictions need. Joe, since when does an addiction problem and loving the individual who has said problem provide an excuse to engage in an alleged multi-million dollar foreign bribery scheme. Todd, Carly, this has nothing to do with alcohol addiction or drug addiction or dad's love for his son. This has to, everything to do with the millions upon millions of dollars that went to not only Hunter Biden, but James Biden, Hallie Biden, and most importantly, Joe Biden from places like China. For services rendered, we still don't know exactly what value add Hunter Biden brought to the table that got him millions of dollars that then went through shell companies and ended up in the pockets of the Bidens. So that that's what this investigation is about, and this is what we'll see on MSNBC. Oh, no, it's just about a dad's love for his son. It's got nothing to do with that, Carly. Yeah, well, Kevin McCarthy is now saying that this may raise the rise to the level of an impeachment inquiry yeah. into the president. And you have a new op-ed titled, Joe Biden's impeachment is likely coming, but will it boomerang on Republicans? And you write, mm -hmm. much of the media will dismiss the proceedings as a weaponization of the gavel and a tactic to distract Americans from Donald Trump upcoming courtroom battles. Can the proceedings convince House and Senate Democrats of the commission of high crimes by the president, even if the evidence is obvious and overwhelming? The blue team is accomplished at sticking together, and most of the media will be dismissive of the proceedings even before they begin. I think you raise a really good question, Joe. Is the juice worth the squeeze when, as of now, two-thirds senators are not going to vote to convict? I've never heard that before. Is the juice worth the squeeze? Oh, we use it a lot. That will be in my next column. Okay, it should. done, done. That's the thing. People hear impeachment. They think, okay, that means we'll get rid of Biden. No, impeachment happens in the House. The Senate, you need two-thirds of the Senate. Therefore, in this case, 17 Democrats have to go along with all Republicans, if Republicans stick together on this, mm -hmm. to convict, which means removal. If you remove President Biden, then you have President Harris, which would be <laughs> something that even Democrats would say, no thank you. So in the end, if you can't remove Joe Biden in an impeachment hearing, is the juice worth mm. the squeeze? I'm so using that at my uh, barbecue this week. Wow, and also, Todd, like, Joe was giving me a compliment, and then he's, oh, we use it all the time. Yeah, we do it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> we do it all the time. It's all I was, wrong. I was riding a high for about, like, a half a second. And I shot down <laughs> and that high. shot it down. Uh, wow. There's also this, Joe. 90-year-old Senator Dianne Feinstein appearing confused during a Senate hearing yesterday, leading to this concerning exchange. Watch. Senator Feinstein. Um, you say aye. Pardon me? Hi. Yeah. Uh, to see. I, I would like to support a yes vote on this, and the, it funds priorities submitted. Yeah, just say aye. Okay, just aye. Aye. Feinstein's people say she was preoccupied, but Joe, shouldn't the Democratic Party have stepped in by now? Because as a human, yeah. that is tough to watch. Right, and no one's gonna mock this, right? She's uh, 90 years old, or going yeah. to be 90 years old. Poll after poll shows that 70% or more of voters want age limits in Congress. Let's put it this way. In the Senate, if you had an age limit of 70, 71% of the Senate would be gone. Wow. Right? Uh, so in the end, it's sad to see that yeah. with either Feinstein or John Fetterman have to yeah. step aside at some Mitch point. McConnell. Yeah. Mitch, Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell, McConnell as well. With the That's right, Mitch concerning McConnell. Concerning freezing video, we wish them all the best, of course. I'm Steve Ducey. Join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all.
Please support MCAD TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.